Hello, Ryan here, AK Mac, and welcome. So, the most recent Around the Verse brought us the latest concept ship sale, which is the Drake Vulture. Now, this is a single person solo player, entry level salvage ship, highly inspired by the Dragonfly, except the arms are there to drag the salvage in. There is some cargo space for the processed scrap, and what appears to be a nice, sort of compact, dark living quarters as well inside. It's quite a sneaky, discreet scrapper, basically. Now, they did talk a little bit about the Vulture's salvaging process. You'll be flying around, the cockpit has great visibility, no beams in the way. You'll be scanning for things very much like you would do for mining, and then come alongside a ship. Now, then you would have to decide whether you want to do a complete salvage, taking all the weapons and ordnance off. If so, you need to EVA out over to it, uh, and remove and then carry these back into your cargo hold. Once you've done that, you get back into your ship, start scrapping the hull with your salvaging beams, stripping the surfaces off, which then gets processed into a commodity. Then using what they call salvage charges to break apart the hull a little bit more and then tractoring in these smaller pieces. So that, as a type of gameplay, sounds quite fun, hopefully not too tedious, and I expect will require some level of balance. A lot like mining, where you've got to balance the, the power over um, speed, I guess. But once the strip material is tracked into your ship, it gets processed further into cubes, which I assume will then be able to be sold as scrap uh, or salvage. Now, if it's a large ship that you're trying to salvage like a Starfarer, it will likely take you a long, long time to do it alone, which is why a Reclaimer is more suited to it, or maybe multiple Vultures if you're out as a team. That will get it done a lot quicker. But smaller ships like the Gladius, for example, would be a waste of time for the Reclaimer. So the Vulture can get a good return for time out of that one. So it's more suited to these smaller smaller sh uh, ships. It won't feel like it's a clean thing. It is obviously Drake. It will look like chaos from the, the cockpit. There is going to be an extensive amount of animations with the ship. The front jaw door sort of opens up where the, the processing happens uh, for the salvage. As well as the cargo room. There will also be a grinding animation, very similar to the Reclaimer, but I'm sure on a much smaller scale. It has two sort of stages. You've got the landed stage, and then you have the processing mode, where the front arms lower, the weapons on the sides fold out, and you can actually see that happening from the cabin, which they say looks really cool. The cabin itself has a moving chair, and everything attached to the cabin and folds, and the screens slowly appear in front of you. A bit like the Reclaimer, I would have thought, where it drops down. Now, they did say that entry could be done through the cargo bay at the rear, but there is a very cool ladder on the side of the arm which you can climb up, kind of like climbing into a cab of a digger. So it's very industrial, very sort of Earth-like. Really, really like this. Uh, I feel this is going to be one of my favourite ships. I will probably wait until it's in-game to buy. Obviously, they're doing the kiosk shopping now, so hopefully 3.3 is when we'll get ship buying, but I'm not putting my name to any of that. Uh, but what I love about this Drake Vulture is the thought of being in the dingiest of, of sort of space areas, maybe in some dangerous area after a recent pirate or vandal battle, creeping in and then beginning the salvaging process, maybe finding a derelict ship and exploring it in the dark for the loot before stripping it, don't know what's on board, but then you know, get back into your cabin, putting on like a little radio station and just sort of playing in the background, drowning out the, the loud roaring of the lasers outside. Definitely right up my street, I love the design, even if it was stolen from an EVE Online ship, they've even tweeted about it, which is quite comical. Nice to see that bit of banter. Uh, but anyway, industry all the way. Now, it is only open to concierge or subscribers. It is $140 uh, or 120 for the war bond. It will be open to everyone tomorrow. It's just open to those guys today. There is also a carry-on pack, which is $550 or 495 war bond, which comes with the Vulture. The Cutlass Black, the Caterpillar, and the Dragonfly. This will be available until July the 18th. Anyway, as I say, this is definitely going to be one of my favourite ships, I'm sure of it. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Are you excited for this? Are you just sick of concept ships? Tell me in the comments below. Make sure you hit that thumbs up as well. Appreciate the support. Thank you to my patrons. Follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. Hit that subscribe button, and I shall see you next time.